Hello everyone, this is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how to place an order and get food off the Postmates customer app. Keep in mind that the Postmates customer app is different from the Postmates driver app. We already have a tutorial on how to become a Postmates driver and how to complete a delivery. If you're interested in that, you want to click on this video that's popping up on the screen right now. This video right here will specifically focus on ordering food off the Postmates customer app. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you'll need to do is create a customer account with Postmates. In order to do that, you want to click on the link in the description. This will accomplish two things. It'll take you to where you need to go to download the app. That'll depend on if you have an Android or iPhone, but that link will take you to where you need to go so you can download it. And the second thing is it's going to get you some delivery credit that you can use as a discount on your first few orders. Alternatively, you can just use the code disappearing on the screen right now when you're signing up if you already have the app installed. That will get you your free delivery credit. In order to make a Postmates customer account, you're going to need an email address as well as a phone number. You will also need to create a password that you can use to log in to the account. Once that's been taken care of, you'll have a Postmates customer app and you can begin ordering food. You should now be logged into the Postmates app and you can place an order. Now before you get to placing the order, your driver needs to know where to bring that food, right? So you want to go ahead and input your address in the Postmates customer app. In order to do this, there's going to be a place right next to where it says food that has an icon that you can press. Click on that icon and it will take you to a place where you can add an address. You can manually input an address or Postmates will use the current location that it's detecting based on your GPS settings. I always manually type in the address because there's always a chance that the GPS could be a little off and I might get my neighbor some free food without intending to. We don't want to do that, right? We want to have food delivered to us, so I always manually type it in. Now let's briefly go over some of the icons that you see on the screen here. You see delivery, pickup, and party. Delivery means that any order you place is going to be delivered to your front door. While on the other side of the spectrum, a pickup option is just placing the order for you. You still need to go to the restaurant and go pick it up. For the duration of this video, we're going to focus on the delivery part because the process is more or less the same. The only difference is they're not going to bring you the food. You got to go and pick up the food. But visually in the app, it's more or less the same process. The party tab is Postmates way of letting you know what deals are going on. So when you click on the party tab, you'll be given a usually two to five minute time limit to place an order in order to get a free delivery for that restaurant. So if we scroll down, we're seeing free delivery for IHOP, free delivery for Popeye's Chicken, free delivery for Boston Market. This selection tends to uh, vary day by day, so it never hurts to check here before placing the order because you may just find your favorite restaurant in here. And speaking of restaurants, let's go over exactly how you select the restaurant to place an order from. So as we scroll down, you're going to get various information about restaurants that you see. So we see Captain D's, KFC, Jack in the Box. It lets you know how fast the food is estimated to get there. It lets you know how much it's going to cost to have the food delivered to you. And it also lets you know exactly how long it's going to take based on the estimated time frame. It's important to note that that time frame is just an estimate and it's subject to change. There are various things that can influence the time, such as bad weather, the amount of drivers that are on the road, as well as other customers ordering on the platform. So keep in mind that this is just an estimate. As we're scrolling down, you may notice that you see more than food as options to get delivered. And Postmates indeed does have various things you can get delivered other than food. The process is more or less the same, so we're going to focus on the food. Just be aware that Postmates does deliver other things besides food. The little tracks icon on the right side next to the party is actually a filter. So if we click on that, it'll let you filter what restaurants you see based on a certain genre. So we see American, Asian, Chinese, burger, etc. You can also filter it based on what's popular and also the price of the restaurants based from least to greatest. The magnifying glass at the top right hand corner of the screen lets you search the entire app. So if you had a particular restaurant that you wanted to order from, you can just type it in the search and it's going to pop up. That's the tactic that I'm actually going to use right now because I have a taste for a sofrita which is available in Chipotle. So I'm going to type in Chipotle and there it is. I'm going to click on it. Once you've clicked on a restaurant, you can scroll down to see what that restaurant has to offer. So if I scroll down, I see 
burrito bowl, burrito, chips, and uh, tomato. I'm going to click on the burrito and start picking my fillings. So I'm going to get the sofrita. There we go. I'm going to get black beans. I don't want a double wrap. I don't want anything extra, but you could also add something extra if it's an option. And for the toppings, I want a fresh tomato salsa. Gonna click add, and boom, it's added to cart. Now I want some chips with that, so I'm gonna keep scrolling. And we see chips with salsa. That's what I want, so I'm gonna click add. Now that I've gotten everything that I want, I'm gonna click on view order, and that's gonna take me to the checkout screen. This is a screen where Postmates is gonna ask you to review the order, make sure everything is there. If you wanna go back to the screen you were before and add items, just press the X icon in the top left-hand corner. The option to tip your Postmates carrier is here as well. As someone who delivers food myself, I can say the tips are greatly appreciated and they serve as motivation for us to keep delivering for the set company. You have an option to put in a percentage-based tip. So if I said 15%, that'd be 15% of my total order. Or you can manually put in a tip of your desire by clicking on others. So if I wanted to put exactly $5, I could type that in right here. Now that that's done, I'm gonna click on review order. And it's just gonna verify a few things with me. It's gonna verify is this the address I wanna deliver to. The delivery time is gonna let me know what that is, as well as the payment method. Now, the address that you wanna deliver to, it's important to click on that and let the carrier know if you want a contactless delivery or not. What that looks like on Postmates is where it says drop off option, you want to click on it and let Postmates know, do you want this order delivered to the door? Are you going to meet them outside or do you want them to just leave it in a certain spot? I'm going to select leave order at my door. And if you have any other information that can help your Postmates get to you faster, this is the place to put it. So if you live in an apartment, right where it says specify location for your Postmates to leave the order, a good tactic for you to do is to leave your apartment number and any other gate code that they may need to get in your complex or building. That goes a long way towards helping the postmate get to you as soon as possible. So you can fill that empty stomach. At the very bottom, you can get even more specific about where you want your carrier to leave your food by clicking on this icon. And then you can tell them if you want it left at the front door, back door, lobby, mail room, garage, etc. If you click on the delivery time, you can also schedule a delivery if you so desire. So let's say if you wanted to schedule a delivery for a certain time in the future, you can pick that time and that day here and the ping for the delivery will go out on that day and that time. Lastly, you'll need to decide exactly how you wanna pay for the order. So clicking on payment, it'll let you add a debit card or credit card and you can also use Google Pay as an option to pay on Postmates. I've selected Google Play, so I'm gonna go ahead and place the order. Once you place your order, Postmates will start a countdown that will give you a few minutes to decide if you want to cancel the order for whatever reason. If you cancel within this time frame, then your card won't be charged. However, if you cancel any point after that time frame, you will have to pay some partial fees because the process has already begun. This is known as the confirming pays in the order process. Once the order has been confirmed, you'll move to the preparing part of the ordering process. If for some reason you do decide to cancel the delivery, you can click on help and click cancel delivery. And if you do it in a confirming period, you won't be charged. The green dot you see on the screen is the restaurant and the red square that you see is you. The green bar towards the bottom shows the amount of progress that's been made on your order. The further you are in the ordering process, the closer that green bar is gonna go towards the right and when it's finished, it'll be completely over to the right. Right underneath the restaurant, which in my case is Chipotle, it's gonna say the latest arrival time. That's supposed to be saying that your order should be where you're at by a certain time. That time can fluctuate, so if they're ahead of schedule, you'll find that time will decrease, and if they're falling a little behind, that time will increase. Once Postmates has assigned your orders to a Postmates carrier, you'll see on the screen because they'll pop up. Once your carrier has picked up the food and is on their way towards you, you'll notice that a car icon will appear on the screen. That's them heading towards you. As they get closer, that car icon will draw closer and closer to the red square, which is you. Throughout this process, Postmates will send you a series of text messages to keep you aware of where in the order process you are. If at any point you need to contact your Postmates carrier, just click on the contact button in the bottom right-hand corner 
and you'll have the option to message them or give them a call. As a driver myself, I always find that a call is probably the best way to reach out to them because they are probably driving unless you forgot to put like information like a gate code or apartment number. In that case, a quick text should suffice. If at any point you need help with something, just click on the help icon and Postmates will present you with a variety of options that you can pick from to solve your problem. Once the order has been completed, the Postmates app will ask you once again if you want to tip your carrier if you haven't done so already. Of course, that's not the final part of ordering with Postmates. The final part is to get that food in your stomach, right? Some tells me you don't need a tutorial on how to do that. Now that we're nice and full, let's cover what else the Postmates app has to offer us. If you click on the little gift box in the top right hand corner, that is actually your personalized referral code. You can get a discount on your next order if you refer friends and family to Postmates. They will also get a discount too. If you click the person icon in the top left hand corner, this takes you to your profile. In addition to this, it brings up a place where it keeps track of your recent orders. So for instance, I just ordered a Chipotle burrito. I could actually just reorder the whole thing without going through the process of selecting my items if I wanted to. So I click on Chipotle Mexican Grill and it asks me if I want to get it delivered again. That's a quick hack in case you're lazy like I am and you don't want to go through the same process again. You just want to have it like that. If you click the gear icon in the top left hand corner, this takes you to your account settings to where you can change things around. If you click on account details, this is a place where you can update information such as your phone number, your email, or add a different profile entirely such as a work profile. Where this comes into play is you may work somewhere different from where you live. And with that being the case, the address will be different. You can just create a different profile for work and just have food delivered there. And when you're home, switch over to personal. That way the food will come to your home address. And speaking of addresses, if you need to change your address, this is another place you can click on addresses to change your address. You can update your payment information by clicking on payment, add any promo codes that you may get in the future by clicking on promos and credits, invite friends and get a discount on your food. It's just another place you can do that. Contact Postmates support if you have an issue, manage the notifications that the Postmates app will send you as well as send a gift card to a friend so that they can get a discount. And there we have it. We've done a tutorial on how to order food with Postmates as well as the overall tutorial of the app itself. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. We publish new videos every single week, so be sure to subscribe if you're new and hit that bell icon so you can be notified when we drop another tutorial. And if you haven't done so and you're interested, if you want to become a Postmates driver and make some money, be sure to check out our Postmates driver app tutorial. I will catch you in the next video. Be safe and profitable, everyone.